Okay, so you own a charter bus company and you're like, if I could only get 150 leads a month, I would be set. I could get the right number of clients because I know I close one out of every three or so. How much is that going to cost me with Google Ads? Hey, what's going on, guys? Mark with Limo Marketer here. I just got off a call with an operator out of Dallas and he told me he wants to get 150 leads a month and he wanted to know, okay, well, what's that going to cost me? And so uh, this is actually pretty, uh, pretty easy math to do, okay? So what I have found from doing tons of these uh, charter bus campaigns, whether it's like, you know, whether you have a motor coach or a bus, anything from really 14 passenger to 56 passenger, um, typically what I target is people looking for things like charter bus, that's number one, you know, that would be my main keyword, uh, group transportation, wedding transportation, wedding shuttle, these sorts of things, okay? And what it costs per click changes in every market. And so the most expensive market I've found is the Bay Area, San Francisco, really expensive. There, uh, you're, you're looking at, you know, maybe uh, up to $15 a click if you want your ads to show up high. Now, this guy was in Dallas. And so after reviewing some data, I found uh, that the last time I did a campaign uh, in Dallas for buses, um, we were paying about, I believe it was $6 a click, okay? Not too bad. And so this gets confused all the time. Oh, okay, well, $6 uh, leads sound pretty good uh, for a bus. No, 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 that's a click, right? So just to recap, guys, the difference between a lead and a click, a lead, what is a lead? It could be a phone call, it could be a form lead, it could be, uh, someone initiating a live chat and a click is just when someone actually clicks on your ad just because they click on your ad doesn't mean they're going to go to your website and call you fill out a form initiate a live chat what do we want we don't want clicks we want leads okay but in order to get leads we need to get clicks first and what i've found is if you set up everything correctly with google meaning you're not targeting the wrong people not people looking for bus schedules or, or taxis or, you know, I've really heard it all. If you're targeting the right people and you have a website or landing page, that's really good at getting that person to either call, fill out a form, initiate a live chat. You're probably going to get one in four, one in three to one in five of those clicks to convert into a lead. Okay. So let's just say it's one in four, right? So four uh, equals $24 per lead. And on the website or landing page, what's important guys, and I've said this in a lot of the other videos, but you want it to be very obvious as soon as they land on your website, do this right now, go on your mobile phone, go to your website and try to call your business or try to request a quote. If it's not immediately apparent, as soon as you land on that mobile website, most people are mobile, uh, what they need to do to get a quote, I'm telling you, you're losing out on sales. About a, a week ago, I had a client of mine who said, Mark, I don't want to get the quote request forms anymore. I want you to put a limo anywhere widget on the page instead of uh, the form you had. And by the way, I'm not calling out limo anywhere, but anytime you're trying to get new customers and you require them to enter a credit card in, especially if your company doesn't have a stellar online reputation, um, it just does not convert very well. So what does that mean? That means you need way more clicks in order to get um, a sale. And you might be like, well, that's fine, Mark, because a sale is better than a lead, but I'm talking like you might need 100 clicks in order to get one sale. Um, no joke, I've actually seen it be that bad. So do you want to pay $600 uh, to get a booking? Probably not. And so while getting leads is more work, um, you're going to get far more of them if you just have um, options for people. Some want to call, some want to do live chat, um, and some want to just complete a simple quote request form. Uh, but to answer my initial uh, you know, query. All right, 150 leads. What's that going to cost this guy? So if he wants 150 leads and they cost, you know, $24 each, let's just round up to make the numbers easier. Let's say it's $25. Uh, just divide this by four, right? So equals 
3700 or so. So right in that range, he would have to spend about $3,700 a month in Dallas to get 150 leads a month. So the question then becomes, well, how much are we going to make? Okay, well, it depends on your close rate, right? So if you're getting 150 leads a month, and let's say you're really good about following up with customers right away, you're calling them, you know, you're asking the right questions, you're competitively priced, or you know, you just have the best offer in the market. Maybe you have the newest equipment. I don't know what it is, but let's say you're closing one out of three. That would be pretty good. This guy said he was closing 80%, which that would be insane. If he was closing 80% and he's not doing Google ads, he is just throwing money away every month. Uh, so let's say he gets, you know, 50 clients a month, right? 33% close rate. Um, and each of those clients is an average of, it's probably going to be more than this. It's a bus company, but let's just say it's 500. Again, let's make, <laughs> let's make the numbers easy, right? Uh, so 50 times 500 is uh, 25,000, right? So 25, oh, you can't see that. Well, let me write it here. There we go. So $25,000 in cash collected, okay, based on 3,700 in ad spend. All right, he might be paying an agency as well. So, you know, obviously want to add that on as well. But we can improve this by uh, closing at a higher rate. What if he is closing 80%? I'm not going to do the math, but that would make these numbers insane and uh, really make Google Ads a serious no brainer. But let's say he was paying his agency a thousand a month. So that would be almost five grand for a $25,000 return. A lot of you are saying, Mark, we have a lot of expenses. That just does not make sense. We cannot spend 20% uh, you know, of our gross on marketing. And I get that. What you need to think about is over time, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get more and more repeat clients, right? And so over time, this number will improve because when these clients come back a second time, and they're not coming back through Google ads, right? You make much more because you're not paying that acquisition cost, right? You're not paying the cost to acquire that client. So it's much more profitable. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I didn't want to make this a long one, but if you're a charter bus operator and you're working in any market in the US, you can typically expect to pay anywhere from four to $15 a click. And by the way, the $15 a click, that's typically just in the Bay Area. For some reason, like I said, that market's just bloody expensive. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.